So in general, uh, per week, we're what I call flipping uh, one or two beds. And so once a crop of greens has been harvested, harvested out like the greens behind us here, today we're gonna slice underneath it, remove the uh, greens that are here, and uh, then we might uh, slice again uh, at a depth of three or four inches and try to uh, gently lift the so soil ahead of planting our next crop. And so to do two, two beds a week with this tool, it's probably in operation an hour uh, on average or less uh, a week at this scale that we're using it. But again, we have found ways to spread our work out <laughs> so that such that we were selling greens uh, 45, 46 weeks out of the year. And so we're, it's just in use consistently throughout the year. The next step is we would rake these greens into piles. I'm a big fan of doing the minimum. And so instead of hauling this off to an off-site off compost, I keep one bed that's that is uh, in field compost. It just melts very quickly here, and then makes really nice compost or fertilizer for the next crop. So we'll just dump on the surface here. We're going to feed the next crop that's in this. Going to go into this bed here. But with this method, I can plant this afternoon. <laughs> with tilling, I would have had to wait until you know the plants decompose. This is good enough for me. It's not perfect. There's some residues on the surface, but that's fine. They'll die out in one afternoon. And with our deep compost method, you can see all I'm doing is moving compost around here. And the ground would stay loose enough for just about anything we wanted to plant in here. If I wanted to plant a root crop, carrots or turnips, then I would want the soil to be a bit looser than it is so that we have more uniform uh, shape to the roots. And there'd be a couple ways to do it. First, I could get a wheel, wheel hoe and slice underneath by hand. It's a lot of work. Could also get broad forks and broad fork it, which would be work. My preferred method is actually this tool here, and I'll show you. So what we're doing here is going as deep as the tool will let me. And I'm providing some force too. Um, but you'll see what's happening is just a gentle lifting motion. Uh, it's, it's not inverting the layers of the uh, soil. Like I said, we have compost, essentially about four inches right on the soil surface. So I actually don't want to bring that subsoil up. I want to keep the layers intact. And so this lets me keep my compost on the surface and have soil that's loose. So I can have my cake and eat it too, so to speak. For the purposes of what's going in here next, just a light raking at the end here uh, will be sufficient. And so we have in a matter of just a few minutes, I uh, created from a bed that had an existing crop in it, uh, we've created a bed that's ready to plant. And so we can do very quick bed transitions with the help of the EOX tool.